Hello friends. Welcome to our channel. Today's video is going to be very important for those who trade in auctions because there is going to be a lot of confusion and pain for those who trade in the derivative instruments. In today's video we are going to talk about STT charges and the recent hike around it. How does it work and the impact on auction traders? Please make sure that if you are a trader, do not skip any part of the video. Also kindly subscribe to our channel for videos and financial education classes from time to time. What is STT? It stands for Securities Transaction Tax and it is a type of financial transaction tax payable in India on every purchase or sale of securities that are listed on the Indian stock exchanges. The tax is not applicable on off-market transactions or on commodity or currency transactions. The rates of STT are prescribed by the central or union government through its budget from time to time. In tax parlance, this is categorized as a direct tax. Collection of this tax is a statutory requirement which a broker needs to follow. This means that the liability of applying the tax is on the broker when the client undertakes transactions in the stock market. The collected amount is then paid to the government. The charges and rate of STT are reflected on the contract notes which a broker provides to its clients for every execution of trades. The rate of tax varies with different types of transactions and securities. They are worth finding out before you select a broker for any transactions in the markets. Brokers may have some additional fees for transactions carried out and these must not be mistaken for the taxes that must be levied on any client. So, whether you make profit or loss, two participants will definitely make money, government and broker. Now STT has been further hiked which means lower profits and more charges on every transaction. So if you are an investor or a trader, every time you buy or sell, you incur some charges irrespective of your profit or loss. All charges are documented with the broker and when we open our accounts, we sign on all these obligatory and statutory charges. However, when we trade, most of us do not check the contract note nor interested to know what charges have been levied by the broker. As per SEBI, 90% of traders lose money in the stock market and only 10% make profit consistently. Participation in derivatives segment has increased manifold in the last 5 years. In view of this, by increasing the percentage of charges, traders stand to gain nothing and make more losses. In the Finance Bill 2023, which was passed by the Lok Sabha last week, the finance minister hiked STT by 25% on sale of FNO contracts. Under the new rules, option sellers will have to pay 6,200 tax on a turnover of 1 crore rupees versus earlier applicable levy of 5,000. Traders in the futures segment will now have to pay STT of 1,250 on 1 crore of turnover against the earlier levy of 1,000. The new rules will come into effect from the new financial year 23 to 24. In percentage terms, STT on sale of futures has been hiked from 0.01% to 0.0125% and in case of options it has been hiked from 0.05% to 0.062%. Explaining the impact of the STT hike, Zerova co-founder Nikhil Kamath said, if an intraday trader buys and sells 10 lots of Nifty futures, he has to pay 855 rupees in STT or 1.7 points on each Nifty lot. If he trades 10 times a day, he has to capture 17 points of a Nifty move every day on STT alone. This is apart from exchange charges, stamp duty, GST, brokerage, and SEBI charges. Adding all this, he has to capture 30 points between Nifty volatility daily to break even. Kamath said by chance, if someone is profitable after all this, they pay the maximum income tax rate. We then wonder why many traders find it hard to be profitable. A robust and liquid stock market is cardinal to our economy. The retail traders helping make this happen should also be helped, he said. STT was originally introduced in 2004 by the then finance minister, P. Chidambaram to stop tax avoidance of capital gains tax. The government reduced this tax in the 2013 budget after protests for years by the brokers and the trading community. At that point in time, there were only a few traders who used to pay LTCG tax and hence to bring all traders under the gambit, the government introduced STT which is statutory in nature. However, today both exist parallelly and government is earning revenue with both LTCG and STT as well. 
This does not augur well for the trading community as now they have to keep a tab of how much transaction cost they have to pay while entering or exiting a stock or index. Let's now see this by examples. STT on options, before, was 0.05% and now 0.062%. STT on futures, before, was 0.01% which is now 0.125%. These are levied on the basis of turnover. In this example, the turnover is 2,10,000. On this for options you had to pay 0.05% on sell side premium of the turnover which is 55 rupees, but now, you would have to pay 62 rupees, which is 7 rupees. Higher which in turn means that it would further reduce your profits. There are around 5 to 6 crore participants who actively trade in FNO and also place multiple trades. This means that the turnover base will also be high which makes more revenue for the government. Earlier there was only one expiry at the end of the month for index as well as stock options and futures. Then came weekly expiry on every Thursday. Then now Finifty expiry on Tuesdays. So retail participation has increased manifold. On one hand, SEBI is mulling over extending market trading hours and with active participation of traders, the turnover is going to go over the roof thereby revenue increase for not only the government but also brokers and regulators. However, retail traders if they do not voice out their opinion will have to bear even more losses and dreams of many will get shattered and ultimately quit the market thereby reducing liquidity and retail participation. With this we come to the end of this video. Hope you liked it. Until then.